Okay. People should be able to hear me now. Yay. At least by all accounts of OBS, they should be able to hear me. Alright. Let's get started, shall we? This is arms. Beans, beans, let me give you a hand. Or two. I have to prepare Dr. Robotnik a beautiful bean feast. Come to arms, my beauties. He's also a total pushover. This will be beautiful. Provided I don't screw it up like I just did, though. If I could get a purple and a red, though, that would be amazing. Well, there's my purple. Alright, he's doing a thing. Clap all you want. I'm setting you up for a death. Death. And more death. He's dead, by the way. <laughs> Nothing to it. Believe it or not, if you don't know what you're doing, frankly, is where it gets a little bit tough. Arms is always too wrapped up in himself to do anything useful. I'm a bright spark, though, and I reckon I know how to beat you. Game wants me to have a lot of purples, apparently. Yellow, and I need a red before I can use the green. A red then green works just as well. Now I need a purple, and that's full on my kingdom four. Shrimp, thanks for the host. Although I've got to fix my alert box now. So once Frankly dies. Yeah, Frankly's dead, so let me go ahead and fix my alert box real quick. Oh, where is Streamlabs? Sorry, this is only like the second time I've ever streamed from the computer, so... Things are still sort of a work in progress. I think. Okay. Should be working now. Alright, so. Back to Twitch. Alright. So he dies. And we move on to Frankly, stage three. Gracious, you here already? I'm shell shocked. But please excuse me if I scramble your chances of seeing Doctor R. Way back when, this guy was definitely not easy to say the least.
crap, that's not gonna go the way I planned it at all. I can salvage this, though. Just do it, take what I can out of that one. This should prove fatal. Yeah, he's done. <laughs> All right. Stage four, and one of the actually recognizable guys, Coconuts. I'm Coconuts, and I'm Dr. Robotnik's favorite robot. Because I'm going to finish you in a flash. He says, yet yeah, he's one of the weakest enemies in the game, if you know what you're doing. I need a red. I would really love a red game. Oh, this could be beautiful. I just need a green to set this off. Alright, not quite how I planned it, but that's still gonna mess him up real good. If I hit him with one, one or two more two-hit combos, he should die. As I was saying. So, we're already one third of the way through the game, by the way. What was in the chat right now, anyway? Nobody? That's unfortunate. Davy Sprocket. A squirt like you has been reuniting too many beings. I reckon I'll have to pioneer some new techniques. This is where the game starts, you know, actually being a bit of an asshole at times. Like that. He's probably dead. Yeah, he's dead. Downside. The next guy is a guy who can probably kill me, actually. Because I usually have issues with this next guy. Stage six, squeal. I've got more sizzle than a rash or a beak. I'm hungry and eight meals on wheels I'm after. It's you. This guy usually fucks me up at least once.
yellow, then blue, then purple. Beautiful. Okay, I can work around that. Oh, that's gonna be fatal. Hell yeah. Stage seven, dynamite. Well, blow me away. As if Dr. R has had enough stick already. Here I am to provide a fireworks display. Dynamite is all about setting up a huge combo of his own and just wrecking you. Suffice to say, if you let him, it's bad news. But if you wreck him before he even gets started... Well, as you can see, he's not really taking it all that well. Like, real talk, he's probably already dead. Amaiwa Motion Daru. Nani? Boom. <laughs> hey, shrimp. Believe it or not, I'm actually at about two-thirds of the game already. Stage 8. Grounder. I'm Grounder. But you can call me Sam, because I'm like a surface-to-air missile. And I'm going to have you for launch. Bad pun is bad. <laughs> but what you expect from one of the two that are actually recognizable from the old cartoon. Yep, kicking butt indeed. Although the fast speed is starting to catch up with me. Give me a blue game. Thank you. This'll work. That's pretty much gonna kill him, actually. Yep, he's done. So, we're two-thirds of the way through the game already. Lots of people aren't that great at Puyo Puyo. I like to take pride in my skill. <laughs> Stage 9. Spike. Come on, Squirt. Let's see what you're made of. Forget those rivet brains you've seen. I'm Spike, and I'm gonna stick it to ya! This one... This one's the puzzle game spin-off. Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine. It's one of my favorites, really. I'm one of those people who is weird and prefers Puyo Puyo over Tetris. So, suffice to say, when that game got released... Uh-oh. Ow. Walk it off, Wave. You've, you've taken worse hits than this before. Besides, you're about to do something to him that's kind of mean. Alright, I already got him on the reps. But yeah... Mean Bean Machine is basically a reskin of, I believe it's the 
first Puyo Puyo game. Because back then, you know, the anime style, nobody thought it was going to click. So they didn't even try. I could really use a red right about now, game. I could really use a red right about now, game. Thank you. Right back at you, Spike. What? You didn't like that? I'm sorry. I can give you more. Okay, shrimp, take care. Okay, game. Yellow, please. Thank you. He and I are both not doing great right now. Optimally, I'll outlast him, but that's starting to look a little bit iffy. Oh, I'm getting greedy and it's costing me. Oh, I'm dead. Alright, champ. No rush. But here's the thing about this game. I may have just died. But there's infinite continues. So I died, but, well, I'm gonna walk it right off. first. This should be pretty. Eat this, Spike. There we go. Let's do some damage. Oh, he's done. That's what you get. Alright. Stage 10. Sir Fuzzy Logic. My lord is troubled by thy success, sire. But thou art destined to proceed no further. Prepare to duel Lord Robotnik's champion. This one I don't recall ever having that many issues with. It's not to say he can't be an asshole, but... Set that off. Oh well. You are a dick, sir. Crap. Wow, this is a problem. Stop it. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Yeah, he might have me, me beat on this round. I'm 
mean, I can claw my way out of it, but it's not looking good. That helps. Of course, he drops a rock in the one spot that I didn't want him to. Oh, this will be good. I think I just killed him. Hell yeah. That was rough. But we're still going. Stage 11. Dragon Breath. Oh, Fuzzy Face got tied in knots, huh? I guess that's why the doc sent in a bullet round. So long, sucker! Crap, what am I doing? Ruining everything, that's what I'm doing. Are you serious already? Ow! Not cool game. It's okay, I can salvage this. Because rule number one of Puyo Puyo, you don't give up unless, you know, you are quite obviously and blatantly going to die from an attack. Like this. Yeah, I'm dead. Wow. That's the quickest I think Dragon Breath's ever killed me. Oh well. Nobody said this game was easy. Okay, we're starting to gain a little bit of ground. Except I just killed... screwed everything up. Awesome. Not cool, game. Literally right as I got the block I needed to salvage that. I mean, that helps. A little bit. The hard part is really the fact that the drop speed is at that point where it's hard to do anything crazy. Oh, hey, he died. Okay, I guess we're alive. Right, time for the final normal stage. 
It's the other guy from the cartoon. Scratch. You've been scratching around here for too long, Wormby. <laughs> Time to cross the road and head home, pal. I'm winning this one by fair means or foul. <laughs> Okay, I need a blue and then I need purples. That's what I wanted to see. Probably could have extended that with a green. I mean, he's done anyway, so... <laughs> Alright, so there's just one left. Spoilers, it's totally Dr. Robotnik. Jumpy Judgebox! Can't you do anything right? Now I'll have to do my own dirty work and blend those beans! Stage 13, Dr. Robotnik. Suffice to say, this is where, you know, the game really just stops being nice. Period. one spot where I didn't want to drop. Crap. Okay, if I can get enough purples quickly, I can get right back at you, Eggman. Right back at you, Eggman. Somebody clip that? Because I just fucking monster killed him. Yeah. And this is how you learn everybody's names. Arms, you're a joke, as always. Frankly, I'm amazed I beat you as quickly as I did this run. Humpty, you're not really all that bad. Coconuts, you're a joke. You've always been a joke. You're not that much better, Davy Sprocket. Wheel, I'm legitimately amazed you never killed me this round. Dynamite, as usual, easy if you kill him quick. Grounder, not that hard when you know what you're doing. Spike is kind of an asshole. I'm amazed Sir Fuzzy Logic held on as long as he did. Dragon Breath was an asshole this run. Scratch was easy. And admittedly, I'm really proud of the way I just killed Dr. Robotnik. And... Carbuncle! I mean, has been. So, this has always been one of my favorite puzzle games. That's why when I realized what Playa Pop Fever was back on the GameCube, I went out of my way to find that game. 
And then, when I heard that, you know, Puyo Puyo and Tetris were getting a crossover many, many moons ago, I was just like, oh my god, I hope they release that for us. They never did, at least back then. So I actually ended up importing the game. Every bit as great as it sounds. So then we cut to, you know, back when the Switch first released, and they announced that we were getting Puyo Puyo Tetris, finally. Yeah, full disclosure, I have bought that game four times now. My Japanese import, the PS4 copy, the Switch copy, and the PC as well. Because it is legitimately the best puzzle game ever. The Tetris fans can use it to get into Puyo Puyo, the Puyo Puyo fans can use it as a Tetris game, and it just is legitimately the best freaking crossover for puzzle games ever! But my love for that game legitimately stems from this one. For the record, if you beat Hardest, it just says thank you for playing. Alright, so, I'm trying to think, because I've obviously done this game entirely, so, I'm going to temporarily stop the stream, but I'm going to choose a different Genesis game to pop in. Basically, I'm stopping the stream briefly to, you know, cut the video for the sake of being able to send it to YouTube later, in all honesty. So... Be back in like two seconds.